All right, guys, in this morning's Health Watch, those popular hand sanitizers, they may work, but unfortunately, they don't last all that long. In fact, a recent survey says half of all Americans think the antibacterial gels last a long time, but according to germ experts, they last about two minutes. Here with more is Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. It's an important two minutes, though. It is? It really is. Okay, well, okay because on one hand, you think, well, oh, I, I wipe my thing in and my hands off, and I'm going to be okay for a while. But it doesn't really last all that long. What's, what's our most important thing to understand about what they do do? Well, we've said before that these are very, very effective in reducing transmission of the germs that can make us sick. Mm -hmm. It does not give you 100% protection. And in fact, I think a lot of Americans were very surprised by that finding that they right. only work for two minutes. Doctors and surgeons like myself, not so much so, because we right. know that when we scrub before surgery, mm -hmm. we are not eradicating all bacteria right, from our hands. Right. What we're doing is reducing the number number sure. one, and we're getting rid of the germs that can make a patient sick, or in this case, can make us sick. Right, and especially if you have contact with other people and things, that's why these things come into play right. so importantly. But go back to the uh, go back to the operating room. What would be better? Would you be better off using a hand sanitizer? Maybe not you, but for the rest of us, a hand sanitizer or washing or soap. Our hands well, off. look, this has been debated in the surgical literature for mm -hmm. years. Is is soap better? How much time is, of washing is really effective? Guess what? They don't really know. What the <laughs> CDC says yeah. is that hand washing with soap and hot water, and right. again, you have to do it for a prolonged period of right, time, which right. most people don't do right. that is the optimum way to protect yourself absent that you want to use a alcohol-based hand sanitizer that's 60 percent alcohol at least all right on the other hand then these things they may work for those two minutes but this is an important two minutes right yeah now here's what's important I shake your hand, mm -hmm. and I've just seen you cough and sneeze, right. and then I'm going to take that contaminated hand now mm -hmm. from shaking your hand and touch my face. That's where these sanitizers ah. can really work. So again, okay. you want to avoid touching your nose and mouth. Use them when you can't use soap and water, and keep your hands clean. All right. So they really do work. <laughs> I think so. All right. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thanks. <laughs>